Hello everyone. I'm Robert Nicholson, president of the ED Treatment Information Center. And today I'm going to be talking with Dustin Wolf, CEO of Launch Medical, home of the rocket. So let's get started. Good. So we're here to talk about the rocket. And what can you tell me about the science behind the rocket? How does shockwave therapy work? So um, shockwave therapy has actually been around for well over 20 years, and it's been widely used in Europe uh, to treat all kinds of things, including plantar fasciitis, soft tissue repair, uh, as well as erectile dysfunction um, and bedroom performance issues. Uh, the science behind it is, is quite simple. If you can um, just imagine in your, in your head a device that emits a sound wave right out of the tip of the device, using various you know, uh, techniques and technology, um, it penetrates the tissue on the body and it causes what's called micro trauma in a very therapeutic, low intensity way. That micro trauma forces the body to send blood flow with growth factors and fibroblasts to that area to repair the tissue. It's kind of like going to the gym, okay? If you go to the gym you know, over, uh, over the weeks and over the months and what happens, right? You start to build muscle. That's exactly what shockwave or acoustic wave therapy does. Um, in addition to that, it also clears micro plaque out of the blood vessels, which we all have floating around our body naturally, right? The food we eat, uh, the environment we're in, our body just naturally produces plaque. Uh, it's kind of, it's exactly the same plaque that builds up on, on your teeth. So no matter how much you brush your teeth, you still should be going to the dentist a couple times a year to have them clean the plaque off your teeth, right? That's the exact same plaque that's building up in the blood vessels of the penis, which is what causes lack of blood flow, right? Which is what causes uh, lack of erections and what causes erectile dysfunction. So the science behind it um, has been uh, proven over the last 20 years through dozens and dozens and dozens of clinical studies done by big urology groups all over the world, proving that it's efficacious, meaning it works and it's safe. So this isn't anything that uh, myself or my, my team invented in terms of the science or the technology. What we did was we just made it um, affordable for the, for the average guy. So that raises a good point. The, the clinical studies have been done using very uh, expensive equipment in a clinical yes. setting. Yes. How does the rocket compare in terms of the, the treatment protocol and the specifications? So um, here, here's what I'll say. So uh, you guys can look me up and my name is Dustin Wolf. I own the largest erectile dysfunction uh, shockwave treatment clinic in the country. We do anywhere from 20 to 25 treatments every single day in my clinic. So as you can imagine, I have a ton of, um, of, uh, of acoustic wave experience. Okay. Um, I'll just throw it out there right now. I am not a doctor. I have no formal medical background but I am a acoustic wave expert because we've done so many treatments over the years, all right? And what I will tell you is this, is that the rocket has been uh, uh, calibrated to put out the exact same energy signature that these you know, 40, 50, $60,000 uh, medical grade devices do, okay? So it does the same thing, okay? The protocols um, are actually uh, very similar. Um, ours is a little different because it's a it's a home use, uh, but the protocols which you can find on the website um, are very similar to the treatments uh, that are done in a clinical setting. But in terms of the the frequency, the intensity, and the specifications of the device, yes, you've matched the medical grade equipment that's being used in a clinical setting. That, that's exactly right. Okay, so that raises the next question. Yeah. You said that these devices sell for thirty, forty, fifty thousand dollars. How can you sell the rocket for the price that you do? Well, I'm going to answer that in a second, but let's back up a second. Um, okay. Let's talk about why my team and I invented the rocket. Okay, so um, over the years of doing this, uh, if you guys don't know, you guys out there that are listening right now, the average protocol to get to go into a clinic like mine uh, here in, in the U.S. and all over the world. Uh, you're looking at you know a minimum of six treatments and three thousand dollars. Okay, I mean three thousand dollars is a lot of money to me, and it's a lot of money to most people. Okay, we're talking 
you know, only one to 2% of the population can actually, you know, afford to get this done because insurance doesn't pay for it, right? It's cash pay. So I got tired of, you know, every hundred guys that call, calls the clinic, uh, you know, talks to myself and my staff, you know, they get all excited about this because they hear about it and they hear about it on the radio and these big celebrities are doing it and everyone's doing this. But um, as soon as we tell them what the price is, you can just hear the wind come out, you know, just blow out of their sails. They're like, I can't afford that. So that's how the idea was born. It's like, we have to be able to, uh, you know, make this affordable to the 99% of the population that cannot afford this. Okay. That's the, that was when the concept for the world's first clinically proven home use acoustic wave device for the treatment of erectile dysfunction and increased sexual performance was born. This was two and a half years ago. So the three reasons why guys cannot get or will not get treatment in a clinic like mine is one cost. Okay. It's very expensive. Two is proximity. Even though, you know, uh, acoustic wave therapy has become wildly popular. There's still probably under a thousand clinics in the U.S. that, that do it. So a guy in Topeka, Kansas, isn't going to drive 3,000 miles or 1,500 miles to come see me or even 500 miles to see the nearest doctor to him, even if he could afford it, because you have to come multiple times, take time off work. And then three, the shame and embarrassment factor. Because even in today's day and age, there's still that stigma of, oh, you have ED, you're, you must not be a man and this and that. You know, it's just, it's embarrassing, right? Who wants to walk into a clinic and take their pants down in front of a, a pretty nurse, you know, six times? Like it's, it's embarrassing. So those three factors are um, completely removed from the equation with the rocket. Cost, which we'll talk about in a second. It's a fraction of the cost. Two, proximity, right? You no longer have to knit, live near a clinic like mine. And three, the shame and embarrassment factor, right? The rocket shows up on your doorstep in an unmarked generic box, and you get to do this in the privacy of your own home because it's very simple. Once you actually see it, you know, done or have done a treatment, you're like, that's it. It's very, very simple, yet very effective with no side effects. All right. So that's why the rocket was born two and a half years ago. Um, let's talk about the cost. So um, my partner, who actually um, invented the technology inside of the rocket, is a very, very smart guy. He's been inventing products for 30 years, um, developed a mechanism a very low cost mechanism to produce the exact same energy signature that comes out of the rocket that comes out of these very, very expensive medical grade devices. If you saw these devices, they're pneumatic, they're hydraulic, they're, they're very complex. Okay. And uh, they're, they're expensive and uh, to make, right. Um, and I'll tell you the ones that I own are north of 30, $40,000 and I own three of them and they break all the time. <laughs> no, and when they break, it costs thousands of dollars to fix them. And I have three rooms going all day long. So imagine what my monthly bill is to repair these things. It's it's in the thousands and thousands, thousands of dollars. Every time one of the the uh, the handle, or we call it like the pistol, breaks, you're looking at three or four thousand dollars as a as a clinic like mine. And they go out every couple of months. So as you can imagine, that's why these clinics have to charge so much, right? To 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 be able to pay the bills and stay in business and be profitable. Right. Um, what we've done is remove the complexity of that, created the same exact same energy signature into a device that we can produce and put into the hands of guys all over the planet for $749. Right. And the home device, because it is intended for use by one person, it right. doesn't have to have the durability of something that's treating patients back to back all Hundreds day. Hundreds of patients a month. Exactly. Yeah. So you got to imagine like these machines take a beating in here, right? So we're producing, we're producing this home use device that is just meant for one person and they do, you know, six to 12 to whatever, 24 or 50 treatments, a hundred treatments over the course of a year or two, you know, it's not doing thousands and thousands and thousands of treatments. And I should also say, um, uh, my my engineering team they're very very smart <laughs> and they built in the protocols uh, into the electronics of the device and safety mechanisms that don't allow a guy to over treat so we've kind of dummy proof it because you know how guys are they're like oh if a little bit is good more is better so um, our number one concern was safety so um, we built into the device a, uh, a shutoff mechanism. So after one treatment, the device won't turn on again for 36 hours, right? Because you have to allow the body time to repair. 
okay? Even though there's no downtime and side effects, we're still causing micro trauma and increased blood flow to that area, okay? So you gotta allow the body to, to repair. So we don't have guys sitting there all day long with a rocket in their hand, oh, more is better, more is better. <laughs> yeah, that's a very good point, one I wouldn't have thought of. So that's, that's amazing that you've built in those safety protocols. Yeah, so if you think about it too, I mean, we have the, the, the final prototype that we, that we you know, came out with last year, we've tested and tested and tested again and haven't been able to break it. So it's, it's done, and you know, I should also say, I mean, we, you know, the last two years we've done you know, dozens and dozens and dozens of, of, uh, of rounds of clinical studies in my clinic using the rocket uh, uh, with guys that volunteered who couldn't normally afford you know, the standard you know, medical grade machines. So as soon as I called these guys up, I had a list. You can imagine out of, you know, hundreds of guys are like, I want to do it. I want to do it. I want to do it. So those are the testimonials that you'll see on the website. But, um, you know, when you're talking about the value we're providing here at $500 per treatment for an in-clinic, um, you know, shockwave treatment, I mean, the rocket, we hadn't actually, the, the final project, we have no idea how long, how many hundreds of treatments it could do. So um, I will say, though, uh, the forces inside the rocket, just like these medical grade uh, uh, devices have, they're very powerful. I mean, you're talking about, boom, you know, this thing is creating a shockwave. At some point it will wear out and it will become less uh, efficacious, right? So you'll want to buy a new one, but you know, we don't even know how long that's going to be. Okay. So I have one final question for you here. Yes. I know that you have been affected like everyone else by the virus outbreak in China. And I know that's yes. affected your shipping. So yes, here are things today. So, um, Yes, everybody's been affected on a global scale, including us. We're no exception. We're not special. Uh, where we are at right now is the fact, um, I will say this, our fact, our, our, the partner that we have uh, uh, is very unique uh, in terms of, of manufacturing. Um, our manufacturing partner, we've had a relationship with for 30 years. They're very, very good at what they do. They build parts for Tesla, Ford, GM, Honeywell, McDonald's, every big, big brand you can imagine. So they are the best of the best. They are back up and running, full steam ahead. They've been uh, uh, in, in full production with the rocket for the last you know, two to three weeks. So they're building rockets like crazy right now. Um, there is a delay in the shipping because there's so much product coming out of China right now just because of the huge delay. So I mean, even if you go on Amazon, I don't even think there's Amazon Prime anymore. It's just like, okay, well, you'll get it in a week or you'll get it in two weeks or whatever. So here's where we're at. There are, there are uh, production grade rockets sitting in rocket boxes at the factory right now, ready to be shipped. So um, it's just a matter of, and we are air freighting them over. We are not because our, our rocket customers have been waiting, you know, for some time. Uh, so we are paying the extra money to air freight them over and not putting them in a shipping container that we get 30 days later. I mean, we're talking within just a few days. So what we are expecting is an update from them um it, this week on exactly when we'll have our first very large shipment which could happen in the next two weeks so um they're being produced we're just waiting on the shipping uh slight delay shipping issue okay well thank you for the update and thank you for your time this morning um it's absolutely amazing Robert. Story. Amazing anytime story. man amazing product so um thank you again and we'll talk to you soon thanks for having me okay and that wraps up this week's segment. As always, if you have any questions, visit our website, use our contact form, reach out to us and ask. Thanks a lot.